Howdy y'all, this is your host Road. welcome back to Love It Games. We are playing a little bit of Mafia Definitive Edition today, so I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're going to see what we can get ourselves into. Hop right back to it. You lucky bastard. Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you two are off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and can tax everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Hey, just don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. Oh, we'll take care of it, all right. What do we got in here? Family. You still here, Tom? That Cafone ain't gonna shoot himself. He's gonna need some help. Uh, I still can't believe he got by that train. I'm losing my thumb. Yeah, dude, it's silent but deadly. Just like a fart in the wind. Come on, Tommy. Tommy Angelo, but it's, might as well be Tommy Brissetti. Anything out here? No. I'm always looking to see if there's like one of those magazines or whatnot set aside collectibles, cigarette cards. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy, he'll come heavy. Nah, now he won't. He goes with his gut. From the news desk of WLH 570, a special report on crime in our city. It had been hoped by lawmakers and 
the general public alike that the end of prohibition would cut off the mob's air supply. But two years since the repeal of the 18th Amendment, it seems to have merely added fuel to the conflagration of crime that engulfs the country. It would appear that removing the conditions that created a new type of virulent gangsterism is not going to remove the problem. The criminal empires that amassed such wealth and power in the last decade and a half are simply too powerful, too deep-rooted to simply be swept away. The more established of these organizations are consolidating their power. The competition between them continues to bring violence and bloodshed into the public square. We saw this at Empire Bay with the Vinci Moretti War that ended in the car bomb killing of mob boss Tommaso Moretti. Gangs such as the Vinci family are now, in many cases, highly sophisticated, well-organized international operations. They owe their success to their brutality and to the many lawmen and legislators in their pockets. Yes, don't allow yourself to be mistaken. The mob may be the instigator, the driving partner, but the corrupt politician or the dirty cops is the facilitator, and both roles must be played for organized crime to flourish. I've heard it mentioned in certain newspapers that the upward trajectory of the economy would quell the mob's opportunities to exploit police and lawmakers. That, sadly, doesn't appear to be the case. Those engaged in corruption are not doing so to put food on the table. City officials and public servants earn more than most, and did so even at the height of the Depression. So that, frankly, does not wash. Plenty of people, far worse off, live without sin. As we have seen in Lost Heaven, standing up to the mob can be a dangerous game. Suspected mob hits carried out against officials in a number of American cities attest to that. What are our state and federal governments doing to ease public concerns? What can we expect from J. Edgar Hoover and his BOI, now renamed the Federal Bureau of Investigations? Are we truly powerless in the face of such callous disregard for human life? We shall let you know if we ever receive answers to these questions. This concludes our special report. So with that, the corrupt cops and corrupt politicians is exactly what caused the mob to grow so big and is why it's so big still today. Even though they don't like it to be out and known, it is. Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? You going somewhere? Not near you, buddy. Definitely not near you. Yeah, I'll be home before supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Hey, pull it together, Tom. 
Whatever happened, happened. There's nothing you can do about it now. Sergio's luck is running out. Wait. What are, you, what are you talking about? Sam and Paulie have found him. He's in Georgie's restaurant across town. You need to get over there fast. Okay. I don't really think that was just his wife. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go. What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! No witnesses. Get me out of here. Oh, come on. We gotta do this, Tommy boy. We should do it Tommy Versetti style instead of Tommy Angelo style, though. Big explosions and a lot of bad things. Hauling ass. Ooh, that was close. I have to give it to him. His hat's staying on pretty good. I'm going at these speeds, weaving. Come on, gotta catch up. Oh. That sucked. I mean, it was a cool quick time event of hitting that ramp, but that sucked. I don't tell me we're starting the chase over at the beginning because it looks like we are. You can fire, but I cannot.
All I got's my horn. Got no weapons. Even though I just had a Tommy gun not long ago. No! That's some bull. That sucked. Try this again. Dude, he is definitely keeping the distance ahead of us. There goes Sam and Polly. And I love these mob games. You would not be able to drive like that and shoot like that at the same time, buddy. Oh, you got two people driving you. I didn't realize there were three of you in that car. Hey, I'm trying to warn you to get out the way. Move up. 
Yeah, you ain't getting up after that one. Spray and pray. The way of the Tommy gun. It doesn't look like you're doing good at stopping me. Oh. Hey. Pull the red lever. Gotta do what you gotta do. Grim de la Grim. After we killed Sergio, it was chaos for weeks. Our guys against their guys, and Morello gone to ground. But a boss can't stay hidden forever. For Adon to be feared, he's got to be seen. Finally, word came through that he was gonna break cover. 
Marilla wants to thumb his nose at us. Taking a show like there's not a war on, we'll meet him in the streets. We do him like this. We wait outside the theater till the end of the show. All those rich assholes will start coming out. That's when we hit Morella and his gorillas in a crowd before they see us coming. The theater is going to be packed, and not just with saps. There's a good chance the mayor, maybe even the chief, might be there too. That's the goddamn point, Tom. We kill Morella in public in front of the city's creme de la creme. Then they'll all know who's in charge. And it doesn't matter if you have a badge or a gavel or a fat wad of cash in your pocket. If you cross Salgari and his boys, you're dead. Okay, boss. We'll get it done. Take the machine guns. Make sure you don't draw attention to yourselves hanging around outside the theater. You keep the choppers hidden until you spot Morello. And then you light them up. I want it to look like that white suit is covered in roses. You got it. Sure, boss. Oui. It's still just a family photo? Yeah, it is still a family photo. This uh. is it. We're finally doing this. No one's up here and you're just chilling with your gun. Keep your head. We gotta get to the theater before the show's over. Tom. You're driving. Why do I have to be you the driver? Work, boys. Morello dies tonight. Tonight? Shit. Good luck, guys. Put your foot down, Tom. Can't believe after all these years we're finally going after Morello. Not his crew, not his family. Finally putting him in the ground. We're putting a lot of history to rest. What happens when he's gone? We'll be kings. Nah, I mean, what happens with the Don? You think he'll be all tore up? I think he'll start wearing a nice white suit. I think the Don will be happier than ever. Whack him real good. Try 
gonna shake us off in the back streets. I know this city better than anyone. Don't worry. I am worrying because I don't this know that well. Squeeze. Morello's gotten himself a good driver, but he doesn't match you, Tom. You should have had people already outside the area beforehand. This was very poorly planned. Where's he going? He can't be skipping town with us going bumper to bumper with him. Well, wherever he's going, he's going there in a hurry. It's the airstrip. He's gonna go through the back. He's got a plane? Of course he's got a goddamn plane. There'll be more guys waiting. Good. We need to clean house. He's gotta die? This guy's gotta die. Okay, but let's keep us three off your list. They only just fixed up the airport since the last time. I mean, we're just dumping lead into this guy. I see him. Hey, time detector.
Go. Get us into the air. We don't have the speed. Take us up. It's gonna take off. Shoot out the engines. Are we even making it get? It's no good. work. He's in a fucking plane. Cannon, let me shoot. He's not out of here yet. I'm taking the wheel. Why? Because I'm the guy that drives. And now we got a plane to catch. Okay, here's what's happening. We follow him. We see where it lands. We rush in. All guns blazing and we panic. <gasps> you got a death wish or something? Anyway... Okay, here's what's happening. We follow it. We see where it lands. We rush in, all guns blazing, and we finish them off. No way that bird's staying in the sky. That thing's not gonna land, it's gonna crash. It look, uh, aeronautic to you. But thank Christ we got you in the car, Professor. Morello's not gonna walk away from a plane crash. That's a maybe, but he ain't dead till we seen him dead. Out of all of us, you two should know that by now. Oh, wow. You drive like this in your old job. Yes, I did. Where is he trying to take it? Maybe out near the racetrack. More chance of landing it safe outside the city. Hell yeah, maybe, but it's not gonna be safe. Wherever he comes down, we'll be there soon after. I'm just gonna say, with my degree in aeronautical aviation logistical management Is it gonna go? that plane would have no chance of yeah. still flying if we it's blew up the engines the way it did that thing would have immediately came down and we just peppered out the hole but we don't have time to relax we gotta be sure he's dead before the cops show no one's gonna survive that hell of a lot of smoke I can't believe we did this I know don't seem real Stay alert with your guns close. We've come too far to get lazy at the end. We don't have long. Every cop in the city is going to be on his way. We get out, we check the wreckage, we leave. Got it? Sure we do. Dude, he is a lot further ahead of us than I thought he was. Wow. You drive like this in your old job. Dude, we're here. Let's get out. Daddy doesn't even know it yet. He knows it now. Yeah, pal. That'll do it. Come on. Let's make tracks. See you on the other side, Marku. Cream de la creme. We're gonna call it an episode there, so thanks for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. We're gonna see what we get into on our next episode. So I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless. Peace. It is not wanting to see.